Okay, um, welcome to this PHP Basics tutorial. Um, um, as the title probably suggests, this is on sending emails and HTML emails. Um, and I'll get to sort of things about that as we go along. Um, so I'm just going to be working with this single file that we have here, just mail.php. Um, I've got it open in my browser here, so at the moment it does absolutely nothing. And because we're dealing with emails, I have my um, temporary email address set up again, uh, and it's currently showing the inbox. Uh, I've already done a bit of testing, and because this is email address, uh, email inbox, whatever, is not set up properly, account, there you go, um, there aren't any folders, meaning I can't delete messages. Oops, it just says no. So, yeah, that's why that's there still. Um, anyway, what I was saying. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've got this mail.php file. I'm just going to load it a few times and sort of play around with the mail function. So, sending um, emails in PHP is done, um, like I said a minute ago, using the mail function. This is one that PHP provides. Um, it's like part of the PHP core, um, and it makes sending emails incredibly easy. Um, it takes six parameters, I believe. Um, the last two, or the last, I think it takes five. Um, we're using the first four, the rest are optional. In fact, the fourth one is technically optional, but um, we need to supply it in this case. Um, so, the first parameter of the mail function is the email address that you want to send the mail to. So in this case, I set up this temporary email address, which is this, without that I. And the second parameter is the subject, like this will appear in the subject heading, in like the inbox list or whatever. So for this I'm just going to use test message like so. The next parameter, third one, is the message body. So this is what will actually appear when you open up the message. And just for this I'm just going to put like test. It can be anything. Um, the final, well, the final one we're supplying is headers, additional headers I should say. Because PHP sorts out sort of all the boring headers for us meaning we can concentrate on, well, additional ones. So I'll, dem I'll show you what those headers are in a minute when I've sent an email, um, and then I'll sort of explain, like, well, I'll show you the additional one. Um, just for this first example, we're just going to be supplying the from header. This is uh, necessary, you need to add this header. Um, sometimes your server will do it for you if you've set PHP up to do so, but just for the purposes of this, um, you need to add who the email address is from. And this should be an email address that you own, and preferably it should be one that is hosted on the same server that the email originates from. The reason for that is that some like spam blocking things will check to see if the email comes from where it claims to, uh, and if it doesn't they'll just reject it. So just for this I'm going to use test2 at the same domain name, like so. You can literally set this to anything, like I could pretend to be like anyone, that's how spam works. Um, so now, anyway, if I just load this page now, if I come back to our browser, hit reload, and then go to our uh, webmail thingy, reload the inbox, you see we've just got this test message from the address I supplied, and if I just open it up, uh, you see we get the body which is test, whoops, test here, and the subject which is test message, like I specified. Now if I just click this little thing here, it shows all of the headers, so like all of these, uh, well, actually, no. Um, these received ones aren't, but anyway. Um, so, like, all of these headers at the top are ones that PHP and, like, the server and stuff generated for us. That's why the fourth parameter here, that's the header we added, is called additional headers, because they're headers that you're adding, not, like, all of them. But that's fairly relevant, really. Um, you can turn, um, out of interest, I guess, um, this X PHP originating script it tells you the name of the file and the line number. Oh, I think that's supposed to be the line number. Apparently it's not. Hmm. Um, <laughs> that's sent in the mail. But anyway, at least the file name. Oh, user ID. That's the user ID. Of like the system user. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's basically sending email. Um, now you may notice that this appears as like a text file would in your browser window. Um, the reason for that is that unless you specify otherwise, the email address is the email address. The email is treated as plain text. So if I just go back to our mail file and say try to make, well, actually, let's just 
touch on something else first. Um, it sort of makes good practice to define the body as a variable, so let's replace that with a variable called body, and then up here um, we'll define this variable called body, and this will be equal to a string, and this string will just say test for now, um, and the same goes for the headers, although I'm going to do the headers in a slightly different way to do like you may have seen before, so I'm just going to cut that there, and then up here above the body I'm going to define a headers as an array and each element of this array is going to be sent as a header so now I'm just going to paste that single from header that we had and then here in the headers field I'm going to use the implode function and I do have another like basics video on the implode function and uh, we're going to be imploding on slash r slash n which is a carriage return followed by a new line a line break um, the reason for this is just it's like the standard HTTP. That's the definition of what splits up headers. Um, and then obviously the second parameter is just the headers array. Um, so what this will do is take the headers array, put this between each element of it, and then return it as a string, which is what you're supposed to supply to the um, fourth parameter, hit the additional headers parameter. So that's basically that. And we can test that again now, and it would do the same thing, so it's a little bit pointless at the moment. But the point I want to make here is that, say if you had like some new, a line break in here, well, I suppose I could do this, well, no, let's do it in sort of text. So the first I've had like two line breaks, and then I just put down here, like, well, test again, I'll do. So if I send this email now, I'll just go back to our inbox and our browser and hit reload, and then back here, reload the inbox, so you get this test message again, same from line and everything, so it's still working, like this new method we're using. Um, you see now we get to test, new line, new line, test. So what's happened here is that the browser is treating this as actual plain text. Um, and this also means that like any HTML that you want to add will not work. So say if you wanted to make this like a title or something, so you could like use a h1 tag um, of message or something like so, oh god, right, there. <laughs> um, so if I send this, um, I mean you can probably guess what's going to happen, I'll demonstrate it anyway. Back to the inbox, load the message, you see it's just come out as plain text. If we want the browser to actually process this as to HTML code, we need to add a content type header, and we've met this before. Um, basically it tells the browser, or email client in this case, um, what sort of document you're sending it. So we're just going to add it to our list of headers in the headers array and it's going to be content type with a thingy text slash html which is the mime type internet it stands for something oh my battery's going flat Ooh, okay speed up right so um, that means it's a HTML document basically and this should now um, process HTML so now let's go back to our, no let's send the mail first mail should have sent, go back to our inbox and we have a new message, I load it up and you can see that the h1 tag has now been processed but also the um, new lines are now not shown the reason for this is that new lines are fairly meaningless in HTML you have to use the line break tag or like paragraph tags or you know like HTML stylings um, so yeah that's basically it for HTML emails and emails in general um, can't think of anything else to say um, I probably should wrap this up a bit it's already too long and my battery's about to die so thanks for watching and hopefully this was of some use